Governor of Eagle Nation Cycles, the sign of a deadly officer involved shooting, says he fears he may lose his business. Several neighbors and business owners say they're worried they may be forced out after Nina Mayor Dean Coffert mentioned the words eminent domain. NBC 26's Raquel Amel has more on concerns over changes to downtown Nina. Nearly a year after a deadly standoff and hostage situation at Eagle Nation Cycles in Nina. We're convinced it's cover up. Two lawsuits still pending between Steve Arado's business and the city of Nina. Now, Arado says he feels targeted again, possibly by eminent domain. First thing I've thought is that this is a crime scene and they just want this make, they want to get a hold of it, take it down, and eliminate any possible evidence. Eminent domain means the city could take a person's property if they feel they need to in order to build something that benefits more people. Right now, an office building and parking lot are in the works. We're going to start tearing down homes fairly soon, or we're going to start demolishing the homes that we have purchased. Um, and at that point, the neighborhood's going to change. Mayor Coffert says eminent domain is a tool that could be used, but it's not being used at this time. If we had a development, a developer that would come in and say, I, I would like to, you know, put something on that block that would, you know, greatly increase the value of the city, I think the city would look at eminent domain condemnation. At this point, we don't have that. That uncertainty is what worries Arado. No one should have to be told by the city, you know, here's, we're going to pay you what we think it's worth, now get out. But that has yet to happen to Arado or anyone near the project zone. In Nina, keeping you connected, Raquel Amel, NBC 26.